victim of what appears to be the act of a serial killer was discovered this morning in a remote area of Beacon Park. Authorities believe that this is the case of a serial killer because of the similarities of their deaths. They were all women, all beaten to death, a senseless act of rage against women with nothing in common except their unfortunate encounter with so far a faceless killer. This is Daria Valdez Morrow reporting. Daria, thank God. Sam's been trying to reach you for an hour. Hello? Hi, honey, what's wrong? What? Oh my God. Yes, I'm leaving right now. Okay, bye. But Sam, I love you. Everything's gonna be okay. Sam's mother, Barbara, just passed away. I am so sorry. Find someone to cover for me for the next couple of days. I don't know how much more of this Sam can take. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Thank you. I gotta go. Well-known philanthropist Barbara Murrow is dead. Police say the heir to the Carl Kane sugar fortune apparently fell down a flight of stairs at her Fort Lauderdale mansion Wednesday. Mrs. Morrow's last years were marked by scandal and tragedy. Her death coming barely a year after the death of billionaire husband Richard Morrow. His run for Florida governor in the last election ended abruptly when Morrow admitted to fathering an illegitimate son. Now 25, that son, Randy Summerfield, was born during an ongoing 30-year affair with model Sophia Summerfield. She mysteriously disappeared shortly after the scandal broke. The elder Murrow called for an investigation, but no substantial leads ever developed. Just four months after the disappearance, Richard Murrow died suddenly of a heart attack. But Barbara Murrow moved on, dedicating herself to charity work and founding Morrow House, a shelter for battered and exploited women. Barbara Murrow is survived by her son, famed attorney Sam Murrow, and his wife, Daria Valdez Murrow, a reporter for Channel 8 News. A very private funeral service will be held Saturday. See you back at the house. I'm really sorry about your mom. Do you want me to take care of anything? No, I'm okay for now. See you back at the house? Yeah, just for a few. I gotta go back to the office. With that Diaz hearing next week, all eyes are on us. We gotta win this. When have we lost? Hey, pal, I'm really sorry for your loss. Take care of yourself. Hey, love you, man. I can't come to the house, though. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm planning a political rally and I need to be there. You know me. <laughs> I'll call you later. Okay. I really hope we don't have any breaking stories today. Because if I took the day off, I really want to be with Sam. Yeah. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Don't start any revolutions today. No promises. <laughs> My mother's funeral. He had to show up at my mother's funeral? He came to pay his respects. Disrespect. He came to show his disrespect. He came. Just accept that. There's nothing you could do about it. I've accepted my father's choices, my mother's choices. Him. Have you? What are you really upset about? It wasn't his fault to be born into this drama. It, mine either. But I'm left to clean up the messes. I just, I wanted one last moment with my mother. Is that too much to ask for? Thank you.
Doctor, she's awake. Sorry. Who? Sweetheart, what's wrong? Just, I don't know you. Please, stay away. Dr. Green, something's wrong. She doesn't remember me or, or anything. Daria, I'm Dr. Green. You were brought here because you had an accident. I don't remember anything. Not even the name Daria. Do you know where you are? I'm in a hospital. Good, that's right. Do you know where you live? An address? A city? No. Can you bring me a pad of paper, please? It's not unusual for episodes of amnesia to occur after a head trauma, especially if the brain structures are involved with the hippocampus, which deals with long-term memory, and the medial temporal lobes, which deal with declarative memory. Declarative memories? What? It's called the retrograde amnesia, or RA. Daria's brain has disassociated itself from her identity. She doesn't know who Daria is and has no personal memories or autobiographical memories to account for who she might be. I'm so sorry, baby. Daria, I'd like for you to write down the name Daria and that you were in a hospital in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Why would she have to do that? I don't... Well, this is perfect. You have preserved previously acquired skills. Retrograde amnesia is very strange, scary, and anxiety provoking. But the good news is it's not permanent. You will gradually regain your memory. But you need to be patient, all of you. How long before I will be able to remember? Well, it's difficult to say, weeks, sometimes months, but with the help of a therapist and those around you, it could change a lot faster. Can I take her home? Whoa, whoa, excuse me. I don't know you. Daria. I don't want to go home with anyone. Daria, it is best that you return to your own home. It will help you slowly regain lost memories when constantly surrounded by your own environment. I know that you're scared. We're all strangers to you, but believe me, Sam is your husband. Daria, this is Sarah. I'm your best friend. And you are in the best possible hands. You might not remember this, but... I love you. And up until the accident, you love me too. I'm gonna order a few more tests, and then I'm gonna introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Weston. She's an expert on the subject of amnesia. Will you write down her information for me? Regarding the test, there's nothing to worry about. They're just going to ask you a few questions. So why don't you get something to eat, and I'll see you a bit later. Are you... are you hungry? Yes. Are you ready for your favorite food? What is my favorite food? Sushi. I like raw fish. <laughs> but I'll get you whatever you want. Surprise me. That's my girl. If you're trying to impress me, I'm impressed. This is our ride home. Our car got banged up in the accident. Sorry. Have I actually ever been in a limo? 
Yes. Did I like it? Because I really like it now. We'll be home in about a minute. We actually live in this area? We do. Go on then. Tell me we live in one of these houses. We don't. We live in that one. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. Thank you, Clara. This is Clara. She's been with the family for 20 years now. It's a pleasure. All right, um, could you, uh, go get Daria's bag for her? Yes. Of course we have a maid. Look at this place. Clara, she prefers Clara. Could you make us a couple of drinks? What would you like? Nothing, please. No. It's okay. We'll just bring her back to our room then. I'm sorry. It's okay. Come on. Are we famous or just rich? You're famous. I'm just rich. I'm the cook. Introduce you to someone very special to me. I recognize myself in these pictures, yet I have no sense of who I am. That's us, not our favorite restaurant. You're still the same amazing person, even if you don't remember. That means you are the rich one. Tell me all about it while you show me around. All of it, huh? I have so many questions. <laughs> I just don't know where to start. But it doesn't smell like anything, but it's so beautiful. It doesn't have a scent, and it's poisonous. Really? Yeah, don't eat it. 
I didn't know that. Matches your shirt. <laughs> I like pink. What a great first memory. I am a bit tired. Well, I'll take you to our bedroom. You'll be comfortable. And if you don't like it, it's not my fault. You decorated it. <laughs> We spent our wedding night in this room. I'm gonna let you rest. If you need anything, I'll be in the next room, the guest room, right over there. Welcome home. Thank you. For understanding. I love you. Good morning. Sit, sit. I made your favorite muffins. They smell so good. I'm sure they will be. Where's Sam? Oh. Hey, they're hot. Sorry, but there's someone here to see you. It's um, Mr. Um, Otto. I know who you are. I don't remember, but I was just looking at this photo. That was all true. We work together? Not now. Now that you decided to forget all about me. That was a joke. I, uh, I joke a lot. Keeps me sane. <laughs> I was talking to Sam yesterday. I was thinking, not necessarily a bad thing. Forgetting the past. <laughs> a lot of people I like to forget. <laughs> I mean, in our case, What do you mean? I spent the whole night reading this book, The Retrograde Amnesia. It's a matter of weeks, you know. And you got a whole team committed to you. We're over the station. 
Which one's been up and down right now? You should check your emails. I'm trying to make sense of all of this, but nothing's familiar. It's just words on a paper. That's normal. I mean, for now, you're gonna get it back. We're with you, you know? It's just a matter of you going over to the station, hang out in your office for a while. You're in one piece. That's all that matters. I'm having DVDs made, you know, of all your assignments there. That latest one included. I'm really grateful. Anything. Anything you need, you gotta ask. Okay. Daria. I'm gonna leave you love birds. There you are, sweetheart. Aaron, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for coming. I'm in full. Well, I'm gonna get back to my high tech tower and I my quest for the truth, which is becoming hopelessly lost in all kinds of semantics. Uh. He's an amazing man. And a great friend. He appears to be, yes. Sorry it took me so long. Uh, I promise I'm gonna make it up to you. How's that? Mm. You look beautiful. Thank you. What do you want to do today? Talk. I want to talk. I want to relearn everything. Everything that's happened to me up until now. I just need time. How about we start with now and go on from there? Okay. I have a surprise for you. But, um... I gotta change first. Do I need to change? No. Oh. You were perfect. Absolutely perfect. I wish we could choose what we forget. I'm sorry I upset you. I only answer your question because I want you to remember. I guess once a reporter, always a reporter. It's always your gift. You get anyone to tell you anything. Is that why you agreed to talk to me about your father? My family, we carefully choose to whom we grant interviews. You had the reputation of being honest, thorough, and beautiful. I'm better to speak with you than some reporter with sweaty hands and halitosis. <laughs> well, look where that got you. If you mean us, mm -hmm. then everything I went through is more than worth it. We both have things about our family we'd like to forget. Well, I had forgotten mine until you reminded me. And that's not fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I could only remember one thing, it would be you. Thank you for everything you are doing for me. I am just sorry that I lost the memories of what we had. We'll create new memories together. I like that. <laughs> we can start right now. Yes, yeah.
watch it. I can't control it. I'm a killer. I did, I did it. The blood is on my hands. She can never find out. You understand me? Whatever it takes, make sure of it, or I will. sweetheart it's okay I, I i come back later no 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 please come in come in is there something you wanted to ask me i was gonna go to the supermarket you know i think i'll go with you no, that's not gonna work you have a meeting with dr weston this morning dr weston yeah the specialist that dr green recommended oh yes she said she can help with my memory that's great. Thanks, Glada. I don't really know what I want or need right now. No, no problem. Please. I'm sorry. I should have asked you first. No, it's it's okay, actually. She called Dr. Green this morning. They thought that the sooner you could start your sessions, the better. After last night. Was last night too much? I have to go to the office for a while. If you need anything, Clara can get it for you, or you can call me. I'm on your speed dial, number two. I want you to start remembering things. At least us, nothing else. In your mind, keep looking at the sun as it sets. The lower it gets, the sleepier you are. You're more and more relaxed, falling into a deep sleep. You are now totally relaxed. And in your deep sleep, you will now reach and remove any blocks that prevent you from accessing your memories. You will remember sensations, images, Smells, sounds. What is your name? Daria. How old are you? Five. Where are you? What do you see? My mommy. I don't want to go. I know she's going to come back. I want my mommy. Daria, where is your mom? I don't know. I can't see her face. So much blood. So much blood. Why? Please just come with us, please. I know this is hard for you. Please just come on, please. I know. Don't you touch me. Stay away from me. Daria, who is that? Where are you? He's drunk. Always drunk. Patrick. Daria, take my hand. He took me in. Squeeze it if you're afraid. I gotta go away from here. Anywhere. Where are you calling, Daria? Care. Anywhere. I don't care where. I just want to go. Daria, I will count back from five. After that, I will call your name and you will be fully awake. You will remember everything. Five. Four, three, two, one. 
You did well. I recorded our session as you asked. You can use it to recall our sessions, but also to make notes. Anything that comes to mind. Because your condition isn't permanent, and as a result of our sessions, you'll have memory flashes as you regain your memory. And they can be random and sometimes confusing. But it is part of the recovery process. I guess that's the price I'm willing to pay to remember. Surround yourself with familiar objects. Photographs, music, smells. These are reality orientation aids that will help you regain your memory. Okay? The third victim of what appears to be the act of a serial killer was discovered this morning in a remote area of Beacon Park. Authorities believe that this is the case of a serial killer because of the similarities of their deaths. They were all women, all beaten to death. A senseless act of rage against women with nothing in common except their unfortunate encounter with, so far, a faceless killer. This is Daria Valdez Morrow reporting. Taking my calls, meaning they're keeping something from me. How the hell did you get in here? We all have our secrets, I guess. All right, look, I'll talk to you, but not on camera, all right? All right, look, no suspects so far, but we know the killer has a method, systematic way of beating his victims. What do you mean? He knows what he's doing, like where and how to hit, like he knows martial arts possibly or is or was in the service. I don't know. That's all we've got. Got it. Thank listen, you. listen, this is for your eyes and ears only, all right? I'll let you know when it's safe to go public. I appreciate it. Let's go. Good night, Chief. How was your first session with Dr. Weston? It was good. I'm, I'm a bit tired. I've been thinking about you all day. You too. I miss you. Daria? I'm a bit tired and confused. Get some rest, please. I'll see you tonight. Sam is a killer. I don't know who he killed or who he was talking to. But I gotta find out. Do I really want to remember? Too late. Ah, for both of us, college meant freedom, recognition. You sat next to me in the creative writing course, and I asked you what made you take this course, and you said you never had anyone to talk to, so you started writing. I was there for the exact same reason. We've been best friends ever since. <laughs> Are you married? I'm married to my work. What do you do? I'm an activist for women's rights. We campaign for equality and justice for all women regarding reproductive rights, violence against women, homophobia, all forms of discrimination against women. That's amazing. Thanks. Have we ever worked together? You cover mainly social and political scandals, corruption, crime. How well do you know Sam? I've known him since the day you first met. You mean the interview? Well, shortly after that. You two were inseparable. <laughs> I remember your call at 2 a.m. after your first date. You became one of the most envied women in the country. In the country? In the country. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and there was never anything wrong with him? Or me, or us? 
He's perfect. Just like you. Why? Just curious. I don't remember him. Or us. Is something wrong? Daria, I know you. And I know how your voice gets when there's something on your mind. I feel like nothing is real. People, places, names. I feel like a duplicate of myself without a past. For now, your past starts today. A lot of times it's a good thing not to remember our past. I wish we could choose what to forget. I thought so too. But now, I really, really want to remember. Oh, good. You, me, Sam. My first kiss. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. I love you. <laughs> Having a girl moment. Uh, speak of the handsome devil. Oh, two of my favorite people. Hi. Hey. Hi. Missed you. Let's go inside. <sighs> she needs some time. I have to go out of town for a couple of days. Tomorrow. Can you stay here with her? Of course. Not a problem. I'll just go pick up a few things and come back in the morning. You're an angel. She has no idea. Thank you. It was great. I'm stuffed. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Why don't you stay here tonight? We have another guest room, don't we? Great. What do you say? If I can have Clara's famous muffins for breakfast, I'm in. <laughs> well, if you guys will excuse me, I have a few emails to answer before I crash. I have to get up early in the morning, so I probably won't see you. Oh. And thanks again. You don't need to thank me. Have a safe trip. I'll see you in a few days. weeks covering this story. Richard Morrow leading a double life and fathering a son was as big as a story can get. The collapse of a dynasty. How did it affect Sam? 
It was devastating. He was a criminal attorney already in the public eye for a couple successful high profile cases and this kind of publicity wasn't what he needed. His mother, the Teutonic heiress to a fortune in her own right, she wasn't too happy about Sam's interest in you, but he didn't care. I'm looking at all of this, I'm listening to what you're telling me, and I hear you, but I feel like it has nothing to do with me. The only thing that I seem to connect to are these murders. Like I, I feel them. And I don't know why. Well, as you can see, you're an institution. You're a young institution, but you're an institution. Nevertheless, It doesn't look familiar, but it feels familiar. I feel like a clone. You're not a clone. And we're gonna teach you what you need to recall and what you need to forget. Actually, Aaron, that's exactly why I'm here. I need your help remembering. Well, memories are highly overrated, honey. And I'm not running this goddamn station without you. All right. Julie, you give me two bottles of water, a couple of chai cheese with honey, please. Sit down. Okay, so I have been reviewing the DVDs that you were so nice to bring me to my house the other day, and from what I understand, I was covering a case of a serial killer. Before the accident. It's funny, it always had this propensity, you know, for intrigue and murder cases, despair. So it makes you the journalist you are. I gotta show you something. Your own interviews. Come here. I want you to watch this. Did you consider the consequences? when you got involved with a man like Richard Morrow? Regardless, when you fall in love with someone, true love, the question isn't should you, it's how can you not act on it? How did you and Mr. Morrow meet? Really, is that important? Richard is an exceptional man. He's unlike anyone I've ever met before, and I fell in love with that. And he fell in love with something that he needed, and he found. And me. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me so openly about this. But may I ask? Why? She would have never run away. I know something happened to her. Well, since the storm is already out there, I at least want the true story to be told. Not something that's soiled by tabloids and the quest for ratings. There you have it. The truth. This should end all speculations and rumors associated with the media and its audience, at least for now. This is Daria Valdez reporting. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Whatever happened to Sophia Summerfield? She disappeared. You know, I think Richard Morrow is a man who died of a broken heart. Fell in love with a girl half his age. She up and disappeared. Tabloids, they spread rumors he was involved in that. Was he? No, well, he wasn't. It's all been corroborated. By whom? By you. It's right there. So how did the story come out? He had political ambitions. You want to play with that kind of power? You get opponents. They dug it up. Uncovered his affair. They humiliated him. 
until he was dead. I see all these notes about Randy Summerfield. What's his story? I don't know. You talk to him. Hmm. Especially after his mom disappeared. And? Some things are better left alone. I'd like to talk to him. I don't know why you want to recall any of this. Because I don't want to have any regrets later. Randy? Thank you for coming. I owe you an explanation. I couldn't come to the house because I'm not allowed anywhere near any moral property or to have verbal contact with anyone in the moral family. Why is that? I was made an offer I couldn't refuse. By who? Barbara. Barbara Morrow. She couldn't do anything about what had already happened, but she wanted to make sure that I didn't cause any more embarrassment than what had already been created, especially for Sam. She did offer me a substantial amount of money for me to basically disappear. For the first time in my life, I made a practical decision, one of which my mother would have disapproved. So this was after your mother's disappearance? You're right. Disappearance. You know, pe people kept saying that she, she ran away, that she couldn't handle it. But I know her. She wouldn't have run. You know, she had nothing to hide anymore. She loved Richard. She would have never left him, or me. She didn't even know? Anything? Nothing. So how did your father Richard handle the disappearance? Broke his heart. You know, and, and then, you know, whenever I first called you, I was hoping maybe, being who you are, you might go to pull some strings. I'm sorry, Randy. I don't remember any of that. I read about the accident. And you lost your memory. What's that like? Not to remember. Not having a sense of time? It's strange. It's scary. You know you are someone. You just don't know who. It's kind of neat. You know, you owe nothing to anyone because you remember nothing. And in the process, you get to reinvent who you are from scratch. It only works if you want to forget. I want to remember. Did Sam ever talk to you or your mother? Not that I know of. Why? Just curious. Did your father ever talk to you about Sam? He, he said once that he would wish we could have met. He was sad that it you know, couldn't happen. He, he wasn't sure how Sam would react if he found out about me. Randy, I can't make any promises, but I am going to do everything that I can to make sure that the right people keep your mother's case open. Thank you.
wanted to surprise you. Almost killed me in the process. I, I missed you. I, I wanted to come home. I'll, I'll let you go back to sleep. Won't be able to. I know that look. Ask me. What drives people to kill? That's not an easy question to answer. Love, hate, fear, illusion. I had a professor in law school that said, animals kill by instinct, people by reason. Could you? Could you kill someone? Why would you ask me that? Because I live in a void that is strange. I feel like I have a heap of puzzle pieces in front of me, and I'm supposed to put this puzzle together without knowing what the final picture looks like. I just described life and then gave a partial answer to your question. Until recently, I, I thought I had it all figured out. I have puzzle pieces in my hand that I have no idea what to do with. That's where all potential killers give me enough reason. I'm tired. Is everything okay? Just a little late night tea and philosophy. Thanks again for staying. I'm here for you guys. Good night. Good Good morning, Clara. What can I get you for breakfast? Just coffee, please. Good morning. What happened? Nothing. Jogging injury. Went out to clear my head, got distracted. Slipped. Sarah left. She said she'd uh, call you later. She already did. Barbara. She's watching me. There's Sam. We're dancing and spinning and... Oh, my dress. It's too long. I tripped. You're fine, Daria. Everything's fine. No, Aaron, I need this assignment. I know it's not my mother's murder, but I need it. I need it for me. Can't you understand? Oh, 
with Sam right now. I'll explain later. You have to tell me what's going on. I don't know where to start. a few minutes ago. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Sure. I'll have her call you when she wakes up. Okay. All right. You too. Bye. I hate lying. Thank you. This is breaking news. The latest victim of a possible serial killer who's been terrifying Fort Lauderdale was found in a remote area of Frontier Trails Park. Investigators are telling us that the victim, a 30-year-old woman whose name is being withheld, was left for dead by her family, but survived the attack. She was airlifted to City Regional Hospital, where she is listed in critical condition. Of course, keep you updated on that condition. I know who the killer is. What do you mean you know who the killer is? It's Sam. I have proof. Listen to me. Sam is not a killer. Your mind is playing tricks on you right now. You told me what Dr. Weston said about random unrelated images popping in your mind. No, I'm not talking about images or dreams. I heard him say it. Say what? That he's a killer. Who did he say it to? What exactly did he say? That he's a killer. I don't remember the exact words. And this morning he was jogging in the same exact park that this latest attack happened. A, a lot of people jog in that park. When he came back from jogging, I saw him washing blood from his hands and his shorts. He said that he tripped, fell, cut his hand. I, I, I know your mind is made up, but you're wrong. You were obsessed with these murders. They reminded you of something horrible from your past. Your mother's murder. My mother? Why would you talk about this I, right I'm now? I'm sorry, but finding, this, a long time finding this killer will somehow relieve some of your pain, but you are about to sacrifice the best thing that ever happened to you. So you believe that everything is just one big coincidence? Because I don't. Have you ever considered talking to Sam about this? I asked him if he could kill someone. And he said? That we are all potential killers. That includes him. If you're wrong, you ruined the life of an innocent person, and yours, while the killings still go on. Aaron, hi. Yes, I heard. I want you to let me know if you hear anything, anything at all. You said you wanted me back? I'm back. Whenever you hear something, I want to be there. Murders. All beaten to death. They reminded you of something horrible from your past. A faceless killer. A 
I did. I did it. Blood is on my hands. She can never find out. Do you understand me? Sam is not a killer. I'm a killer. I did, I did it. Blood is on my hands.
I'm at a gas station. I don't know where. What's the address here? Uh, 6900 Griffin Road. 6900 Griffin Road. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's here. He's here. Please hurry. Stay the hell away from me. You are not going to get away with this. What are you talking about? Can we just go somewhere and talk and I can, I can explain things to you? There's nothing for you to explain. I just called the police and they're gonna be here any minute. The police? Do you have any idea what you've just done? Did you call for assistance? Yes, officer. He's the one I was talking about. He is the serial killer. What? Sir, step back, step back. I'm attorney Sam Morrow. This is my wife. Is he your husband, ma'am? Yes. You got some ID? Officer. You got ID? I was scared. I ran out of my house. I didn't bring any ID with me, but I could verify who I am. My name is Daria Valdez Morrow, and I am a news reporter for Channel 8 News. And you're claiming that your husband is a Philadelphia serial killer? Yes, that's him. And he killed Sophia Summerfield, too. Officers, my wife, she's, she's suffering from amnesia. We had a car accident. She's under the care of Dr. Weston. We can call her and she can clear everything up. I have proof. I can prove it. All right, Mr. Morrow, I'm going to need you to come back with us to the station. Are you arresting me? No, sir, this is only a formality. You're not arresting him? Then I'm not going. Hey, if you don't want to go, I'll have her sign a sworn affidavit saying that you are the serial killer. Whether you go in handcuffs or voluntarily, you're coming to the station. Your choice, sir. Do you have any idea what you've done? Any idea? Relax, relax, relax. Ma'am, come with me. Come with me, ma'am, please. Sir. All right, Miss Morrow. We noted your statement. Let's talk to your husband. Looks like it's nothing more than a little reaction on your part. Sorry to say. He convinced you that I'm crazy because of my condition, but believe me, you are making a big mistake. Look, Miss Morrow, I, uh, I know what you do for a living. I'm, I'm a big fan of your journalism and the same diligence you use, we use. I'm very comfortable that you're not in danger. I think he can explain it to you better than I can. You're suggesting that I go home with him? Perfectly safe. Can I please borrow your phone? Yeah, sure. How do I get the number to channel eight? I don't like this. Hey, Pam, can you give me channel eight? Yes, the news, channel eight, yes, thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is Daria Valdez for Aaron Banfield, please. Aaron? Hi. I'm at the police station. No, I'm fine. I'll explain later. Listen. You were? I'm going with you. I have to. I will get you. The proof you need. Mrs. Clayton, can you hear me? Yes. Thank you for agreeing to talk to us. You are the only person who can identify the person who did this to you. Did you see his face? No. <laughs> he... He had a big tattoo.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She really has to get some rest now. <laughs> that was very helpful. Could you describe that for me? It, it was a snake. <laughs> With a light. I'm sorry. She really has to get some rest now. Sam doesn't have a tattoo. I'm gonna be sick. That's all right. Just call him. I don't know what to say. Because sorry, it's just not enough. Put the chair. Truth from you because I thought I was protecting you. And we both learned what the consequences of our assumptions are. I never wanted you to know this. You were pregnant. Once pregnant when we had our accident. You miscarried. It was my fault. And we lost our baby. I revisit the accident. Every time I close my eyes and I see myself as the killer of our little baby. That's what I heard. I heard you say you were a killer. You don't really know me at all anymore. And you've forgotten us. I know, I don't blame you for what you did. I mean, I can't. Even when we have all of our memories and, and we think that we, we think that we know someone, someone that we loved and admired our entire life and then we find out that they did one stupid thing one stupid senseless thing and it it, it shatters their image forever no matter how much we love them what are you talking about The 
necklace you found? Sophia's necklace? I found it in my mother's safe after she died. With a letter. She had never forgiven my father for his affair. She killed Sophia. A woman scorned. Shame. You can't erase some memories. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. That I wasn't there for you. And then I put you through all of this unnecessary hell. I thought that my family's scandals were over. Let's never assume again. Never assume. Remember this place? This is where we had our first date. Well, it is kind of our first date. Mm -hmm. And it's a great place to start our new memories. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Hmm. you to tell the story about what my mother did to Sophia. Are you sure? Are you ready for the story to come out? Yes. There's no one better to do it than you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. should be the one driving us home tonight. Can you call us a taxi? Thanks. 